Sarah, a vibrant 32-year-old, had always led an active life. She enjoyed hiking, cycling, and practicing yoga. Her menstrual cycles were usually regular, albeit a bit heavy. However, in the past few months, things had started to change. Her periods became increasingly irregular, lasting longer and heavier than usual. She also experienced spotting between periods, a phenomenon she had never encountered before. Concerned, Sarah consulted her gynecologist. After a thorough examination and a series of tests, she received a diagnosis that left her feeling overwhelmed and confused, endometrial hyperplasia. The term sounded daunting, and Sarah struggled to grasp what it meant for her health and future. The doctor explained that endometrial hyperplasia is a condition where the lining of the uterus, known as the endometrium, becomes abnormally thick. It's not cancer, but it can increase the risk of developing uterine cancer if left untreated. Sarah's story is not unique. Many women experience endometrial hyperplasia, often feeling bewildered and alone in their journey. This essay aims to shed light on this condition, providing a comprehensive understanding of its causes, symptoms, and treatment options. By empowering ourselves with knowledge, we can navigate this challenging experience with greater confidence and seek timely medical intervention. The endometrium, the inner lining of the uterus, plays a crucial role in the female reproductive system. It undergoes cyclical changes throughout a woman's menstrual cycle, preparing for the possibility of pregnancy. Under the influence of hormones like estrogen and progesterone, the endometrium thickens to create a nurturing environment for a fertilized egg to implant. If pregnancy doesn't occur, the endometrium sheds, resulting in menstruation. This delicate balance of hormonal regulation is essential for maintaining a healthy endometrium. When this balance is disrupted, the endometrium can grow excessively, leading to endometrial hyperplasia. This abnormal thickening can occur in different patterns and is classified into various types some carrying a higher risk of progressing to uterine cancer than others. Understanding the normal functioning of the endometrium and the factors that can disrupt its delicate balance is crucial for comprehending the development of endometrial hyperplasia. By delving deeper into the underlying mechanisms, we can gain valuable insights into this complex condition and its implications for women's health. Endometrial hyperplasia often presents with a range of symptoms, serving as crucial warning signs that warrant medical attention. The most common symptom is abnormal uterine bleeding, which can manifest in various ways. Women may experience unusually heavy or prolonged menstrual periods, bleeding between periods, or irregular cycles with unpredictable timing. Other symptoms can include pelvic pain, discomfort during intercourse, and vaginal discharge. However, it's important to note that some women with endometrial hyperplasia may not experience any noticeable symptoms. This highlights the importance of regular gynecological checkups, as early detection and treatment are crucial for preventing potential complications. Recognizing the possible symptoms of endometrial hyperplasia is paramount for seeking timely medical advice. If you experience any unusual bleeding patterns, pelvic pain, or other concerning symptoms, Consulting your healthcare provider is essential for a comprehensive evaluation and appropriate management. The development of endometrial hyperplasia is often linked to an imbalance in the hormones estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen promotes the growth of the endometrium, while progesterone counteracts its effects. When estrogen levels are high and progesterone levels are low, the endometrium can grow excessively, leading to hyperplasia. Several factors can contribute to this hormonal imbalance, including obesity, polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, estrogen-producing tumors, and certain medications like tamoxifen. Age also plays a role, as women approaching menopause are more susceptible due to fluctuating hormone levels. Furthermore, lifestyle factors like diet, exercise, and stress can influence hormone balance and impact endometrial health. Understanding the causes and risk factors associated with endometrial hyperplasia is crucial for implementing preventive measures and making informed lifestyle choices to mitigate the risk. By adopting a holistic approach that encompasses hormonal balance, weight management, and stress reduction, women can take proactive steps towards safeguarding their endometrial health. Section 5. Navigating Treatment Options Treatment for endometrial hyperplasia depends on various factors including the type and severity of the condition, the woman's age and overall health, and her desire for future childbearing. The primary goal of treatment is to reduce the thickness of the endometrium 
and prevent the development of uterine cancer. In many cases, progestin therapy is the first line of treatment. Progestin, a synthetic form of progesterone, helps counteract the effects of estrogen and promotes the shedding of the endometrium. Progestin can be administered orally, through injections, or via an intrauterine device, known as an IUD. Regular follow-up appointments and endometrial biopsies are crucial for monitoring the effectiveness of treatment and ensuring the condition resolves. For women with more severe hyperplasia or those who do not respond to progestin therapy, a hysterectomy, the surgical removal of the uterus, may be recommended. This option is typically reserved for women who have completed childbearing or those at high risk of developing uterine cancer. Section 6. The Power of Prevention While some risk factors for endometrial hyperplasia are beyond our control, adopting a proactive approach to prevention can significantly reduce the likelihood of developing this condition. Maintaining a healthy weight through a balanced diet and regular exercise is crucial for regulating hormone levels and preventing estrogen dominance. Engaging in stress-reducing activities like yoga, meditation, and spending time in nature can also contribute to hormonal balance and overall well-being. Furthermore, being aware of family history and genetic predispositions can empower women to seek early screenings and take necessary precautions. Prevention plays a pivotal role in safeguarding endometrial health. By embracing a holistic lifestyle that prioritizes hormonal balance, weight management, and stress reduction, women can proactively reduce their risk of developing endometrial hyperplasia and other related conditions. Seeking help, a step towards well-being, Navigating the journey of endometrial hyperplasia can be emotionally challenging, and seeking support is essential for maintaining emotional well-being. Talking to trusted friends and family members about your experience can provide comfort and alleviate feelings of isolation. Joining support groups or online forums dedicated to women's health can connect you with others facing similar challenges, fostering a sense of community and shared understanding. Additionally, Seeking guidance from a therapist or counselor can provide emotional support and coping strategies to navigate the anxieties and uncertainties associated with this condition. Remember, you are not alone in this journey. Seeking help and connecting with others who understand your experience can provide invaluable support and empower you to navigate this challenging time with greater resilience and well-being. Medical Advancements, a Beacon of Hope the field of medicine is constantly evolving, and researchers are continuously striving to develop new and improved treatments for endometrial hyperplasia. Recent advancements in minimally invasive surgical techniques have made hysterectomy a safer and less invasive procedure for women who require it. Furthermore, ongoing research is exploring alternative treatment options, such as targeted therapies that specifically target the abnormal cells in the endometrium, minimizing side effects, and preserving fertility. These advancements offer a beacon of hope for women with endometrial hyperplasia, providing more personalized and effective treatment strategies. The continuous pursuit of medical advancements holds immense promise for the future of endometrial hyperplasia treatment. As research progresses, we can anticipate more targeted and less invasive approaches that prioritize women's health and well-being. Breaking the silence. Sharing our stories. Endometrial hyperplasia, like many women's health issues, is often shrouded in silence and stigma. By openly sharing our stories and experiences, we can break down these barriers and create a more supportive and informed environment. Sharing our journeys can empower other women to seek help, advocate for their health, and feel less alone in their struggles. It can also raise awareness about this condition, encouraging early detection, and promoting proactive healthcare choices. Let us break the silence surrounding endometrial hyperplasia. By sharing our stories, we can foster a culture of openness, support and empowerment, enabling women to navigate this condition with greater confidence and resilience. A call to action, empowering ourselves and others. Endometrial hyperplasia is a complex condition that can significantly impact women's lives. By understanding its causes, symptoms and treatment options, we can take proactive steps towards safeguarding our health and well-being. Regular gynecological checkups, open communication with healthcare providers, and a holistic approach to lifestyle choices are crucial for early detection, effective management, and prevention. Let us empower ourselves and others by sharing this knowledge, breaking the silence surrounding women's health issues, and advocating for greater awareness and support. 
Together, we can create a future where women feel empowered to prioritize their health and navigate challenging conditions with confidence and resilience. Share this essay with your friends, family, and social networks. Like and comment below to share your own experiences and contribute to the conversation. Together, let's break down the barriers surrounding women's health and create a more informed and supportive world.